This is a scene I've downloaded from Sketchfab to give an example of the occluder polys. Um, I've added an occluder here. I'm setting it to a new occluder shape polygon and it creates a giant uh, purple polygon um, which I'm going to move into a position by uh, transforming the node as you would normally to get it into a rough position. I'm going to try and use it to cover these two buildings here with a kind of diagonal so it's a bit more complicated than it could be but uh, it works for this scene. So I'm tweaking the position here Once you've got the orientation correct, you can then move the points of the corners of the polygon. And as you can see, as you move it, the objects behind it are shown unhidden from view. In actual fact, I'm uh, moving this uh, polygon to be slightly bigger than the size of the two buildings because as well as the occlusion from the polygon, you can also add a hole within the polygon to make certain uh, areas of it visible again to form convex, uh, concave shapes. So as you can see here, the umbrella and those uh, chairs are hidden when they shouldn't be. Um, and we can cure this by looking into the occluder shape polygon data and creating a hole. We add some points, four points is uh, enough to create a rectangle, and we just drag them into position. And now if we look, we can now see the objects through the hole. Uh, this makes the occluder polygons a lot more versatile because uh, in a lot of situations you want the polygon to be as large as possible to occlude as much as possible. And having a hole um, gives you a lot of versatility to make concave shapes instead of convex, being limited to just convex shapes. So we've added some occlusion from that part of the scene. Um, we'll now just add one more occluder here. This occluder is going to be a bit simpler. I'm just going to rotate it to exactly be axis aligned and uh, put it covering both of these buildings but with a hole where those stairs are. The uh, polygon can extend much further below the ground than is necessary. Uh, this is quite useful for making sure you occlude as much as possible because it doesn't really matter if it extends into the ground. So I'd actually recommend doing that. So now the uh, occluded polygon is hiding many of the chairs behind the church type building and uh, all that's left is to add another hole for the stairway. I don't think it's actually obscuring anything at the moment, but uh, it's good practice to make sure the occlusion is correct. Um, if you had, for example, a uh, character walking up those stairs, you wouldn't want them to be occluded in the wrong situation. So this covers that. So this has given you a, a just a short example to show the effect of just adding a couple of occluders. Um, you'd probably, you know, on this level, you'd probably add maybe five or six, spending a little more time over it.
Also note that in some cases, um, the occlusion may not work if objects have been joined um, together from quite a uh, different areas in space, because if any of the um, area of the axis aligned bounding box is outside the occluder, the object is going to show.